Let's take a look at working with Q markers within Bitwig. Now, the first thing that we need to do is come up to the beat grid up above. And if I right click, then I can choose to show Q markers. And now we can see that the beat grid becomes a little bit larger here. And wherever I'd like to add a Q marker, let's say to the beginning of where we have our first clip, I can right click and insert Q marker. We can see that one has been added with a colored flag there and untitled name. I can name this by double clicking on it and we'll just call this tutorial one. I'll press enter to accept that. Now, if I press I to open up the inspector, then we can see when this is selected, I can also rename the marker here, press enter. And by default, this has kind of a yellow color, but I can also come to the color palette here and change that as well. Let's come over to bar 10, right click and insert Q marker. We'll call this tutorial two. Press enter. And again, we could come over to the inspector and change the color for it. Let's add one more here. As you can guess, we'll call this tutorial three. And we'll add one final marker here at the end, right clicking, insert Q marker. And this time I'm gonna just click once to select that and then we can name within the inspector. Now within the inspector here at the bottom, we have the ability to enter a comment. So we can type any information that we'd like to see here. And this will be tied to each individual marker. If I come to tutorial three, then we can see that that comment section is empty as well as our tutorial two and rename. Now also be aware that we can come over to our project panel in the bottom right hand corner, this icon that looks like a paper. Let's click on that and then choose the sections tab. And then here we have our launcher scenes, but below that we can access our arranger cue markers. And we can see the colors here that I chose, the names. And if we'd like to see the comments that I added, we can click on the speech bowl here in the top right corner. Let's click on that. Now we can see those comments that I put in. And if you notice by default, these are square. The We have the colored squares there, but if we hover, we can actually have a play button that we can click on. So if we'd like to skip to tutorial three section, which is here, let's close out our inspector for a bit more real estate and we will zoom out a bit. Okay, so if I'd like to go to tutorial three, I can click there. We can see we go there. Let's click on the end. That's gonna go there. Let's come to the first marker, our rename. Okay, so you get the idea. And over on the right hand side, you're gonna see the location for that marker uh, by beat or bar rather. So the second bar, the 10th bar. And anytime we'd like to change the location of these, we can come up to the top, click once to select that. And if I drag left or right, then you can see we can place that wherever we'd like within the beat grid. And then that's gonna update within the arranger cue marker section here. So we can see bar 18. Anytime that we'd like to remove a cue marker, we can come up to the top and just right click and choose delete. And that's how we can go about working with cue markers in Bitwig 4.4.